I've been planning this thing for over a year and a half. And here I am doing it. And here I am at mile marker one. So, one mile so far with 2,649 to go. So here's the water source. Doesn't look too appealing, does it? Uh, so I'm in for the night, and um, just gonna take it easy. Read read a book that I have on my cell phone, and relax. Uh, whenever I stop, I have my four R's or R E's or whatever the Rest, recuperate, resupply, and re repair. That's it. I just put my head outside, and apparently I'm in a cloud. Date night for some. Probably eating out at a nice restaurant right now. Maybe you're thinking of doing the PCT. Well, let me tell you what I'm having for dinner tonight. I'm having a pasta side that I boiled up with Alfredo sauce. Except I added too much water for it, so it's Alfredo soup. Complimenting that is this amazing packet of tuna. That's right. None of this stuff about is it done. I want my meat done medium rare or well done. Nope. And then to top it off, I have warm water. That's right, baby. When in your life have you ever enjoyed drinking warm water? Never. Nobody. I would never, ever, ever at home. I have most, more ice than water in my glass. And if you're at the restaurant and there's a spot on your glass and you send it back, that's okay. But here, this bottle is covered with dust. I'm covered with dust. I'm outside. Everything here is dirt. Everything in there is dirty. And when I'm done with dinner, I'm going to go to a bush and poop. I'm going to go poop in a bush. So remember that when you think about, yeah, I'd like to hike the PCT. Never had a view like this before. And, uh, so I'm going to eat my Snickers and enjoy this on the side of this mountain. He's from the PCTA. He okay. He comes out ahead of time and scouts out the areas that yeah. people know, like I've mentioned in like uh, surveys and stuff. Right. And decides what work, what work needs to be done. Yeah. Well, it's.
Well, I'm all packed and ready to go. Got my gloves on, got my toe socks and dirty girl gaiters. My bag, backpack is packed, water bottles loaded. My front ribs pack is ready, got my key out, hat, I'm dressed. I woke up at 7 this morning and it was clear, skies, beautiful. Uh, but uh, two hours later, there's a lot of queue and moderate queue uh, building out there. Today is forecast to 90% chance of rain and snow and also a chance of thunderstorms with some small hail. And uh, reading the discussion, there's a large upper level low and trough swinging through California today. So today's going to be a weather day. Even though it started out pretty much clear, that kind of tricked me a little bit. So even though I am packed and ready to go, I'm leaning toward staying the day and not having to deal with uh, the lightning and the and the rain up there. Ninety percent chances. It's pretty high. It's a pretty crisp morning. Start right off the bat with a nice view of the valley. I'm just going to relax for a half an hour. My feet were hurting. And um, I'm not used to, I think because of the miles. I'm, used to, I'm more of like a 14, 15, 16 kind of guy right now. Not 20. I did have 120. Now I've got two 20s. It would be great if I could do a lot of 20s. Uh, eventually I will. It was Friday evening. It's date night. Well, I guess it's date night here too. Me and my poles and my stuff. That'll be my date for tonight. And nature. It's a nature date. The original plan is to make it to Wrightwood, which is 103 miles, in seven-ish days, seven fifteens. But if I can do the twenties, then that'll be five days. The tent was covered with condensation inside and out. I had to shake it out as best I could. Top of the sleeping bag a little wet. Cold last night, but I'm getting better, I think, with my sleep system trying to stay warm. I stay warm for the most part, but you know how it is. You get one cold spot, your arm, your foot, your shoulder. That's what you end up thinking about. But I'm getting better at that. I'm not exactly looking forward to today. I've got 20 miles up that hill. And 5,400 feet of elevation, and it's 22 miles until I get to water. So I'm carrying six liters today, heavy, heavy, and all uphill. So this will be the roughest day so far. But I, I think I'd rather do that than this. 